Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to get HTC's Blink Feed Launcher and all of its social media plugins running on any Android device. This was all made possible by some work done by developer Gaku Gaku which was then improved upon by developer Expert. Basically they've made the Blink Feed Launcher so easy to install that it will run on almost any Android device without requiring root. In fact the only requirements here are that you're running Android 4.4 or higher and you've enabled unknown sources in your phone's settings under security. So if you've got that covered, the first step here is to download the core BlinkFeed files. There are four of these APKs, and you'll have to install each of them to get the BlinkFeed launcher running on your device. I have these, as well as all the social media plugins, ready for you to download over the full tutorial. So head to the link in the description below to download the four essential APKs. Then to get started, tap the download complete notification for any of the four main APK files. It doesn't really matter what order you do this in, just as long as you make sure to install all four. So from here press install, then give it a minute to do its thing, and press done when it's finished. Next, just repeat this process for the three remaining core APKs, and I'll do that off screen to speed things up a bit. So when you're done installing the fourth APK, go ahead and press your device's home button. From here you'll be asked to select an app to use for this action. Go ahead and choose HTC Blink Feed, then press always to make it your default home screen app. Now at this point you're really ready to go. If all you wanted was the bare bones Blink Feed Launcher, you can skip the rest of this tutorial. But the main draw behind the Blink Feed Launcher is the fact that you get this dedicated home screen page that displays news, RSS feeds, and social media streams. That's actually the Blink Feed portion of this launcher. Before it's been properly set up though, you'll only see two links to add sources of information. The second link lets you add news sources to your feed, and all you have to do here is tap an entry to add it. But the first entry is a little different. These are social media sources, and as you can see, it's a bit bare bones in here at the moment. So to add a social media source, you'll have to download the optional plugin for it. At this time, there are five social media plugins that you can download for your new Blink Feed Launcher. Facebook, Google+, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. And for any of these to work, you'll also have to have the official app installed on your system. So make sure you've got that taken care of, then head to the full tutorial to grab the plugin APK for your favorite social media platforms. Then from there, again just tap the download complete notification to install the plugin. Then review the permissions and press install on this next screen. When that's finished, head back to your home screen and swipe over to the Blink Feed page again. Next, tap the connect and share link again. And this time you'll find the social media source that you just added. So tick the box next to the corresponding entry here. Then you'll be asked to give Blink Feed permission to access your account. Press OK or allow on this screen. Then do the same for any subsequent messages. When that's all done, you can use the side navigation menu in BlinkFeed to select your new social media source. Updates and newer information should also blend right in with the main BlinkFeed screen when they come in. And of course you can do this for as many of the five social media plugins as you'd like, and the process will be almost exactly the same. So a feature that was once exclusive to HTC devices can now be utilized on any Android phone or tablet. But for the full breakdown, don't forget to check out my article at the link in the description below. And as always, we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks, but until then, happy gadget hacking!